Hey friends, welcome back to My Crafty Hen House. My name is Elaine and today I brought you out back. We're going to go in and we're going to check the bees to see how well we're doing and hopefully I can get this put to use and see how much honey we can harvest today. First on my list though is I need to clean up after planting all of my strawberry uh, starts, my uh, bare root starts that I ordered online. They're doing really wonderful. I will put a picture in and show you how well they're doing. And I just want to get this area cleaned up and so I can prepare to bring in some uh, of my honey. What I'm going to be using to bring in the honey is I purchased this nuke online. It's called a Pro Nuke. And inside it actually has a rail system that you can set your trays on top of when you're taking them out of the hive. Now, these are some spare trays that I have, and what you would do is once you had a full tray, you can just take that and put that in this little system when you're not using it, and then you can securely put on the lid while you're working out by the hive so that your bees aren't going to be attracted to going to the frames. And it has these little vents on the side that you can open or close when you're using the nuke to um, capture a swarm then what you would do of course is you would open this slide so that they would have full access uh, this is the little process that i thought would be the easiest to bring the trays back to this area where i can process So you wouldn't use uh, a wooden box uh, like this. It's a little heavy and cumbersome. You could just uh, use this to bring in your uh, honey to process it here. And it's a little bit lighter. I only have an eight frame uh, hive. So of course I'm not going to need anything larger than this. Uh, if I expanded on my hives, I would get additional of these. They're very convenient to have if you can find them, and they're called Pro Nuke. So the sun is high enough right now that it's not beating on the front of the hive, and that is my primary goal when I go in here, is I want to make sure that uh, they're not getting overheated or agitated. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming and uh, get all of the weeds and the vines that I missed the last time from around uh, the hive. And then we're gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in the hive today. It looked really good uh, the last time we were in. And I'm gonna try to get uh, what frames I can without completely uh, decimating everything that they have in there. So I'm gonna get started.
two hive beetles. Nicely filling, not capped, so it's not ready to take. Cap. The other side, not ready. and take that one. Let me get my container. one more. Oh, yes. I see capped. Not too happy. I was considering taking this one because this side is all capped, 
but this back side I deserve it deserves a little bit more time to cap so I'm gonna leave this one Gonna go ahead and we're gonna take those two frames uh, I think that is substantial right now uh, at least I'll be able to uh, try the honey and see how it's coming out they're getting a little bit agitated uh, so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna call it a day and uh, go ahead and extract some honey well I made it back from the hive and we were able to get two really nice frames completely full and capped and they're quite weighty I'm not quite sure how much they weigh but I'm happy with two there were a couple others that I showed you in the video that were ready to be harvested as well but they had one area that still needed to be capped and I would rather to let the bees cap them completely so we know what the proper uh, water ratio is and uh, when I put these frames back in, I'll wait another week or so and then go ahead and get two more. Uh, but I'm happy with what I was able to get today. It's been a long time since I've been able to get some honey from my, my hive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this processed. I have my spinner here. I have my uh, knife that I use for cutting off the wax. And then I have this little strainer in a, this bucket that this will strain into, and then I can fill from here. So I won't bore you with the process. You can see an earlier video that I had uploaded of how I process the honey. And I'll get back to you when we have filled our jars. All done processing our honey, and I have begun to clean my extractor and we were able to pull eight jars of this beautiful honey. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So eight jars and I'm very glad that I went ahead and I took the opportunity today. We've had rain, rain and more rain. Uh, but today it gave me a bit of a break and I went back in and I was able to put the frames back in the upper hive and the bees were really, really anxious when I went back out there. So I put them in, they'll clean them up and I'll wait for another couple weeks, maybe two, three weeks and let the other two frames really get filled out and we'll go from there. Uh, the last time I had extracted frame, I was able to get um, about three frame fulls uh, the last time I extracted honey. So I'm really happy with the outcome of this time around and with our beautiful honey, I'm so happy. And I hope you enjoyed this little video and I have a few things coming up next. I'm going to can, pressure can some green beans, get started on that so I can make some of my additional room in my freezer. 
and a few other sewing projects I'd like to get on with the holidays coming up. It's a time that I get started with that kind of thing. But until next time, I want to thank you again for joining me. You can hear it rumbling. We're going to get some more rain this afternoon. And I just want to say thank you and have a wonderful day and God bless.